If you talking money, then I get some paper. I'm really official, so really be faking. I run up in business, I flip and spin and repeat. I turned it up on a hill. Having a rack, shit, that's cool. Hundreds in cash, okay, cool. Diamonds and bands, diamonds and bands, diamonds and cash, diamonds and What up, y'all? Hey, we finna go home. How long we been here? Almost two months. Almost two months. We ain't been home, y'all. That's where we been at. We gonna get y'all to run down. We finna go home. Ain't gonna be no more monitors. No, no more this bed. No, bruh. I've gone insane in this place. All right? Beep all day. But look at little mama. She's doing good. She's a sleepy girl. Yeah. We gonna, we gonna explain everything to y'all. Her surgeries, all that. But y'all, we so happy. Look at our living quarters. We packing up now. This little mama first outfit. Yeah. This was no easy journey, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. I almost pulled my hair out, but I done cried. cried. Yeah, we was. We, we didn't. We didn't beat for each other. We wasn't here mad at each other. That's how crazy it's been. We cried. I cried. We crowed together. Crowed. We crowed together. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. We're gonna explain it, y'all. We finna go home. Let me greet it real quick. We about to get out of here now. Oh, it just it just fixed itself. There you go. You're like, whoa, nothing on me. I'm gonna get you dressed now. Make sure you didn't do a potty. She's not happy we just woke her up, but when you get older, you'll be happy about this moment. Getting dressed, guys. Your first going home outfit. I'm sorry. Ooh. Oh, oh, my God, my baby. I'm sorry, Mama. Don't be a wordy. What's your baby? There you go, boo boo. All right, never mind. Thank you, baby. You were too late. Oh, no, no, no. There you go, boo boo. Good. Oh, she got a hepatitis B shot today, too, y'all. That's what this is. All oh, right, mama. We're going home, y'all. Yeah. Look at her, y'all. Say, hey, world. Y'all got to tell look her Look at how she looked at like. She said, who I can't swim. Like. I can't swim. She's like me. And she was like, mama, see that. <laughs> look how she looking at her. She said, these folks crazy. Help. You'd be surprised how good I'm doing. I'm just a little slower. Thank you so much. This is, our, this is our favorite nurse. So Dream, when you get older, you will see your favorite, favorite nurse. This is Dream. Thank you. I'm doing good, multitasking. Okay guys, so we have Dream in her car seat. We're over here in the garage about to pull out. And I need to put my seatbelt on. <laughs> Practice safety first. But yeah, so today is May 26th, 2022. And this is our first time taking Dream out of the hospital since she was born on April 7th, 2022. Sorry for the exposure, we're just now getting out the garage. Oh, this park is going on taxes. Oh yeah. yeah we paid so much in parking. Bro, probably like a thousand dollars in parking, yo. Yeah, really. Uh, but yeah, guys, we're gonna get home and we're gonna celebrate more when we finally can show her her bed, her everything that we've got ready for her. She finally gets to see it almost two months after she was born but we are so thankful that it even happened at all because this is more than we even expected at first yo we we can give y'all a rundown right now you know while we driving because we got an hour and 14 minutes till we get home hey so tell them tell them if she's my lady did doctoring and stuff in school so she better with the terms than me yep so i didn't do doctoring but i did <laughs> biology my first two years of college um, 
biology major, but then I changed to accounting. But um, basically, I hear a dream crying. I might go sit in the back with her. I might give him some milk. I'll just go real quick while you're at the red light. This is Miss Dream Sinclair herself, looking all mean because she just woke up and she's confused on where she's at. She's getting a view of the sky. She hasn't even been outside, so she's never seen any of this. And she hasn't been by a window really to even see this. She's been hooked up to a, a lot of lines and cables and IVs and all that, but now she's just sleepy. It's a lot for her. But yeah, so back to what I was saying about why we've been at the hospital so long. So essentially, Dream has pulmonary atresia with intact ventricular septum, PAIBS for short. I was making sure of the- that's just, No, that's like sounds so complicated. Like yeah. 1% of 1%, that's crazy. Yeah, it's a very, 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 very rare heart condition and um, it's fatal and if not treated but she was on PGE for the first for the first four to four almost five weeks of her life and that's what helped keep her PDA I don't, it's just kind of hard to explain unless you guys are going through it and hopefully nobody has to go through this but in case somebody's watching this video and their child has PAIBS or just pulmonary atresia in general, you know what I'm talking about. So basically, her pulmonary valve is so closed. It, it was open at first, but because her right ventricle of her heart was so tiny, it didn't really form all the way because the tricuspid valve was formed faulty. That's kind of the cause of all this to, to begin with. So the pressure, is so high in the right ventricle that it caused just so much problems for her. So her tricuspid valve was a little um, wonky. Let's just say wonky because it's not it's not fully functional, but it does work. And she has a hypoplastic right heart, um, a right ventricle, and then her pulmonary valve has atresia in it, not stenosis, atresia, which means there's completely no blood flow through it. So, if you can't we'll imagine it, yeah, we'll insert pictures. But just know it's it's a very serious heart condition, and it definitely requires a lot of intervention. So right now she had a PDA stent done on April twelfth. So. It was just a lot, guys. But she has done, or I'm sorry, her PDA stint was done on May 12th. Um, we were at a previous hospital and they were just kind of waiting, waiting, waiting. And they had her on PGE for so long that she started to get really, really sick. Her lungs were having a lot of just, there was collapse that was going on because it was just too much blood flow and it was just, it was just a bad situation at that hospital. And so we transferred to Memorial Hermann and we are so thankful because within two days, she had her procedure done that helped her improve to where we are today. Now, two weeks after that, we're going home. So that definitely is a blessing nonetheless because this has been, every day was up and down. Not just every day, every couple of hours was up and down. It was just a lot. There's a bug. Yeah. Please get it. Get it. Get it, yeah. babe. You see it? Oh, okay, gosh. You got it. Good job. Sorry. I don't like bugs. <laughs> Bruh, you are crazy. Yeah, sorry about that. But yeah. Yo, okay. she's been, she been very nice right now about the first hospital was at. First of all, I ain't going to say their name, but that's supposed to be the number one hospital in the world. Okay? Yes, so y'all can figure that out yourself. No they, children's hospital in the world. They stick to a certain plan. They will not go anywhere out of their plan. Like, all of their kids get heart transplants. It don't matter if the heart, if the lungs are healthy, they're going to do a heart transplant, you know, to give it. Like, that's just what they do. 
we got so many different opinions that said they should have stinted her when she was born, but they never stinted her. She just sat there. She was so good, and then she started to deteriorate. So we had to make a decision, like, we need to get out of here for her yeah. sake. Yeah, and that point, that was scary because they were kind of telling us, like, oh, no, you know, she could die um, if she gets pretty much a single ventricle procedure. That hospital only was going to offer us transplant for what she has. Um, which, which, you should explain to people what transplant is because it's not like we thought it was. Yeah, transplant is way more than I even knew. Most people would never even think about stuff like this because you're not in that predicament. But So with the transplant, it can last anywhere from 10 to 20 years. And that's, that's like kind of pushing it for children. That's like by your teens to your like, you know, early, not even early 20s, 10 to 20 years type, type stuff. So it's not like that's a tried and true. You get one heart and you're good for life. That's what I thought it was, but it's definitely not like that. And then also with the transplant, it's like a slew, a long list of medicines. Like, is it 15? It's like a lot that you take every day meticulously. You can't mess up on that. And, um, sorry, she's making a little bit of noises. She's waking up a little bit. But, um, it's very, very, like, strong medications, too, because it's anti-rejection. Anti it's, like, um, some that'll help your immune system because you don't really have an immune system because you're trying to suppress it so that your body doesn't reject your new heart. Um, there's, like, it, I can't even list all of them because we just took that thought about it prayed on it and realized that's not the path that we wanted for dream but if that was what she needed we were going to do that but like Demetrius had said um we had a lot of second opinions come in from hospitals renowned hospitals children hospitals all over the world yeah, like the yeah Stanford too. we had Philadelphia we had Boston's we had Memorial Hermann even um I, Chicago uh Lurie um, U of M, Mott's, we did a lot of second opinions. It wasn't just the second opinion. We asked for a lot of them because we just wanted to know because our previous hospital was saying if she didn't get a transplant, that was it. That was all or nothing or she was gonna die. And come to find out when all the other second opinions. Okay, I'm sorry, back to what I was saying, the uh, storage right now, but we're back. Um, yeah, so come to find out, the other hospitals that we sent second opinions to, they were saying that they could do single ventricle. They would recommend that. Not that they could do it. Anybody could do it. But do they think it's safe and it's okay for Dream to undergo? And not just one, but a couple of them said that they were fine with the um, single ventricle uh, pathway. And not only that, they had like done it recently or that they had had um, children that had gotten it previously and they were doing well as um, I think it was like a toddler age and then like one was like um, teens so it just pretty much kind of validated our hearts that she might not have needed not might not but it could happen you know they never you never know if you need a transplant but we know that she could at least be good with going single ventricle and we could have a safer feeling about that because we just didn't want I didn't even mention, you know, there's no oranges, there's no sushi. You can only drink um, bottled, bottle, sterilized bottled water with a heart transplant. So it's and it's a long list of things you can't do with a transplant. Like I remember, no echinacea, no ginger. Um, no, I think there's like green tea. It's it's a lot that you wouldn't even think to realize that people with transplants um, live with. They just can't do a certain... Yeah, shout out to all the people with transplants, too. Yeah, because yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful gift of life, but it definitely has a lot that comes with that. So we're just so blessed and thankful to know that Dream is doing amazing well, and um, we're just praying that there would be no transplant necessary and that she's just going to have the single ventricle surgeries. And we can just go about our business and be happy with our little baby. We back, y'all. Now we about to go up now. We back now. 
We had a little hiatus, but we back. A little hiatus. Them folks wanted me to go to jail in that hospital, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not even a rude person. Yeah, I the promise. first hospital, we were in the trenches. Bruh. Every day, like I said, every hour. Every day battle. Yeah, it was a battle. But we are on the road to success. Like, I think of the way to say that, but yeah we're basically waiting on dream to grow and get bigger and then i think with the single ventricle a pathway around four to six months she's gonna have a surgery called the glen and um that'll pretty much help her heart just it's, it's a lot guys i can explain it to you but i realize not everybody understands and not everybody but even on care to know to be honest so yeah four to six months will be another procedure and then possibly another one at toddler age so around two to three years you know so we'll see it's all dependent on how dream grows and progresses and what god has in store for her so this is where we are today and we're finally at the hospital and oh yeah look at my nails y'all i'm so proud of my nails while i was in here i just decided to just do something crazy i always have short nails but your girl was going through a quarter life crisis with all this and I was just trying stuff but yeah you'll see a lot more of us guys we didn't just disappear for no reason it was definitely a life changing uh, mind altering experience that we, had to, we had to tap into our inner spirituality y'all God oh, got yeah. through this I'm telling that you that was only God because I've never we were so I would say that's one of that experience and like having your hearing about your daughter's condition hearing about like lung failure they say stuff like death heart attack anything can happen you know so she stuff like eating. that yeah she wasn't eating they, she only had tpn she was on drugs yeah heavy heavy drugs sedation because you know ventilation is not an easy thing she was on the, on the ventilator for quite some quite a long time cpap high flow if you guys know you know if you don't just thank god you don't know but yeah we are done with that and we're on to bigger and better things and i don't even want to look back i don't even want to think back but just know you'll be seeing a lot more of us with baby dream now and that's just a quick update from us but we'll see you guys at home Look at her diaper, y'all. She had a blowout. Oh, no, Judy. Oh, God. Oh, wow. That's her first day outfit, and that's the first blowout. Well, not the first, but the first since we left this hospital. Oh, look at this. Before her, before her, her belt buckle. It's dirty? Yes. Oh, that is disgusting. Mm. That is cr the first car trip, mm -hmm. and that's how she acts. That is wild. <laughs> Your mama got some food. Oh, that is dirty. That is wild. What's up, mama? What's up? Finally home. My mama got a maid to come over and clean the house for us. Yes, we had it's a maid so that we get it deep cleaning so we can go to a We've clean been house. Here in what? So long, bro. <sighs> Since April 7th. Woo! Well, I guess we stopped by to get this the suitcase and everything, oh. but literally it's our first oh. time home with our baby. Look at your house, boo boo. That's your bed and stuff. It says dream. What's our chain table? It's a scale. Yeah, you never, you never set it up though. Where the changing table at? Is this? This is it. You gonna put it on here? It's a scale and changing table. You gotta wash it? What do you mean? You gotta wash it then. No. This she is... gotta get changed. Yeah. You gonna put it on there? Lay yeah, on you it? can. This is washable. Okay. And these are. Here. Yep. So, we made it and this is where our story ends uh -huh. for today. Uh -huh. okay, she's getting mad, but. We back, y'all. <laughs> We're so happy. Okay, bye YouTube. Oh god.